cover our sleep, but we have a little Mother's Day surprise to get ready. So we're going to do some um, midnight gardening. Uh, me and Oliver went to the store today, got a couple things. We got just a little bush of knockout roses and little flowers to plant and some potting mix. I figured flowers are always what everybody gets for Mother's Day, but I wanted Tether to have something that she could you know, come look and see year after year, so I figured knockout roses are pretty good because I probably won't kill them. So we'll see how it goes. All right, mission complete. I tried to film putting the flowers in the ground, but it's just too dark outside. It's the middle of the night. Couldn't see anything. I haven't decided yet if um, in the morning I'm going to show Heather or just wait until she either sees the flowers or sees this footage when she's going to edit so, I guess you'll find out soon enough. I'm gonna go to bed now. I'm tired. Head into church on Mother's Day. So I made this little handle to attach to the camera with a little quarter 20 volt right there. Um, it's not the prettiest it or the best, really pretty, but though. I'm get. I, I mean, I'm really happy with it because I can see that I'm getting better and better every time. the The shape and the finish on it, I really like. The little decorations, they could be better. But here's how this is gonna work. We're gonna take this, put it on the camera like so. Uh, I can't see it attached to and the I'm camera. And I'm driving. Here. I know. I know. Wait. 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 The and then, and then, once we have the handle, we can. <sighs> Turn it around and hold the camera less awkwardly. Show them how, see if you can put the camera up to see uh, the mirror to see how it attaches. Can you see it? Uh, maybe. Nope. You can just see me. No. Kind of. Well, well, uh, 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 there it we go. It looks so nice though. And it's cool that you made it. I like it. Works pretty good. I like it. Yeah. We are now on our way to my grandmother's house, Granny. Granny Celine is my dad's mom. Uh, so my aunts and uncles and family and all that are going to her house for Mother's Day for lunch for potluck. So we are a little bit late. I have planned to make a salad um, and an unopened thing of salad greens and I was like, got a couple of like tomatoes and stuff. I was going to make a salad. Then when I opened it in the fridge, it was all like gross and like gooey. So we're bringing chips. picked out for me and apparently planted in the middle of the night 
I hope that they do well. That was so thoughtful. They're gonna last, hopefully, a long time. Much longer than uh, just uh, a bouquet. This is very sweet. Thank you, boys. Hey, Margaret. Alright, so we got the burgers flipped, corn still going, quinoa burgers are done, ready for Heather, or veggie burgers, there's a whole bunch of stuff in there, they sound really good, but these are almost done, and then we'll get to eating. Alright, so what's the deal with hamburger buns in Crawford? <laughs> I went to get hamburger buns, because all we had was like regular bread, which you can eat a hamburger on Right, bread. that's fine. There's a grocery store right down the road. Right, it's like two minutes down the road. So I went and it looked like <laughs> there had been a snowstorm recently, because there was like one bag of sunbeam and like some bagels, and that was it. <laughs> no hamburger buns. I was like, okay, no problem. I'll run over to the Dollar General, which is like right across the street. Same situation. <laughs> some the, uh, bags of sandwich bread, loaves of sandwich bread, no hamburger buns. I was like, all right, last resort is Family Dollar. I don't really feel like driving 15 minutes to Kroger. So I went to Family Dollar, which is like one minute further down the road. Same situation, no hamburger buns. So I called Kath and I was like, there are no hamburger buns in all Crawford. Either one, the hamburger bun truck did not make it this far, or someone had a really big cookout today and got all of the hamburger buns. And so she's like, okay, well, I'll bring some when I come. And then... So then I called, there's a Dollar General in Winterville, like one minute from my house. So I called them and I'm like, do y'all have any hamburger buns? Because I had the thought that maybe whoever supplies Crawford also supplies Winterville. It's not far away. And uh, they were like, we have one bag. And I was like, okay, save them for me. So I went to Dollar General and I was like, so like, what, is there like a What's supply going on? issue? Or like, what, what in the world? The whole city of Crawford is sold out of hamburger buns. And the lady at Dollar General was like, we've been selling out of hamburger buns and charcoal all week. <laughs> so I was like, so everyone's apparently throwing cookouts out. for their mothers. Yeah, mother's and then day. somebody in the line at Dollar General was like, wait, that's what we had for Mother's Day. <laughs> so, well, anyway, so we didn't long story hamburger buns. So the next time you visit this part of Georgia, make sure you reserve your hamburger buns. <laughs> Look at those legs kicking. Oh, now you stopped. Oh, are you not? Smile. You don't want to smile. You gonna smile? Yeah. Do you love Catherine? Do you love her? <laughs> <laughs> That's your fairy godmother. Yeah. Are you happy, boy? He just ate out of the big bottle instead of the four ounce bottle. He's moved on up to the next side so he's all happy and comfortable. Are you a happy boy? Do you love Catherine? Whoa, there's a burp. <laughs> That's a big one. Did that one. surprise you? <laughs>